Monday. <laughs> I think it's Monday. Okay guys, this is Bar with Carly. Carly's here, she's eating her treats. It's gonna be a juicy one today, guys. I'm kind of excited about it. I feel like, I feel like moving today, so I'm in that kind of mood. Am I sideways? Would you guys tell me if I was? You're like, no. Okay guys, what do you need for class? You need small hand weights. I've got my three pounders here. If you don't have small hand weights, grab canned goods, grab wine bottles, grab anything that is equivalent weight that's not gonna kill you during class. All right, you also need a spongy ball. If you don't have a spongy ball, grab a roll of paper towels. A roll of paper towels will do. And then you need a loop-de-loop -loop band. If you don't have a loop-de-loop -loop band, an old pair of leggings or long johns, and you can tie them around your thighs. They're gonna get stretchy. Whew, guys, how are we feeling today? Who's here? Am I doing this class by myself? Please tell me that's not happening. Let me grab my um, my chair. Oh, you also need a chair. I failed to mention that. Chair is essential today. You're gonna need it for your balancing. Um. All right, am I sideways? Let's see. I don't think I am. I think I got this stuff down now. It's only been, what, four months? Yeah. Um, so guys, how's life? What's happening? I'll keep my computer here so you guys can um, let me know how life is. How was everyone's weekend? It was a warm, nice weekend. We were outside. I got a lot of sunshine time, and so did the dogs. Oh my God, Chloe. So guys, Chloe loves swimming. She loves swimming. And she, Chloe's our little tyrant dog. For those of you who don't know her, she's upstairs with her daddy asleep. Um, but Chloe loves swimming. And she swam for four hours, just nonstop going after the ball. She would just launch off the side. If you saw our Instagram story yesterday, that's what she did for four hours. So she did it for four hours. Obviously, like, how is she still alive? I was like, oh, she's gonna have rhabdo or some exhaustion thing. She did not wanna stop. And, um, and so anyway, so then she comes inside after swimming for four hours and she's like, you know, acting all normal, whatever. And then she poops, she poops. <laughs> the most gigantic poop of her life right in the kitchen. She just didn't give it an F. She was just like, yeah, I'm pooping right here. I think all the swimming had gotten things moving, but then she was too focused to like actually take the time to go poo poo outside. So then she pooped right in our kitchen. It was really funny. We were dying. <laughs> Cause the way she was looking at it, she was just like, whatever, I'm going. So that was an eventful moment of the weekend. We cleaned up the poo-poo. Um, <laughs> you guys are like, I didn't log on here to talk about poop. Well, you get what you get, guys. Um, let me know who's here. How are you guys feeling? Are you sore? I taught on Saturday, and I will tell you guys, yesterday my hamstrings were so sore, so was my butt. I kept like bending over to stretch, and I was like, oh, this is not good. This is not good. Um, what else did we do this weekend? Oh, we had our bar teacher training on Sunday. So I was on Zoom with all of our trainees. Guys, they're all over the country. It was really fun. They were all very good. Like, whew, I was impressed. Um, so that was a big chunk of yesterday. And, oh, and we watched the great Guys, The Great on Hulu, so good. It's very good. Highly recommend. Um, we finished it. So I think that was our whole weekend. I'm on vacation this week, guys. Vacation. Very excited about it. Um, haven't had a vacation in a while, so really looking forward to that. I'm gonna do nothing. I'm gonna lay by the pool. 
take the dogs for walks. I'm also going to exercise. Like I'm going to take time to work out. Um, and well, and I guess we're going to start planning outdoor classes. So I think it's been decided. We haven't announced it yet, but we're not doing indoors. Like the cases, it just doesn't make sense. Um, so yeah, we're going to do outdoors. We've got a couple spaces that, um, the, we're, it's not going to be in a filling park. They're not issuing permits. Um, but we found a couple spaces that, that are willing to work with us. So we're going to announce those soon. Um, we do plan on keeping Facebook live classes going at least until we run out of money, which we're close. <laughs> Guys, we're pretty close to running out of money. Uh, four months of paying rent and not making any money. Yeah, it sucks. Um, so yeah, anyway, but we plan on keeping Facebook Live going. Like this week, we cut the schedule a bit just to save a bit of money. Um, so there's no 1215s, but we hope to at least keep it going to this at this level, um, even after we can do outdoor classes because that just seems like the right thing to do. Um, okay guys, we are getting started. Five minutes, what do you need for class? Spongy ball. If you don't have a spongy ball, guys, grab a roll of paper towels, that's all you need. You need a chair, you need your mat. You also need a loopy band. Um, the loopy band is optional. So you can always, guys, just grab a pair of long johns or leggings and then tie them around your thighs. And then grab small hand weights. If you don't have hand weights, canned goods do the trick. And we'll get started in five minutes, four minutes, three minutes, two minutes, one minute. Um, how are you guys feeling? What do you want today? I'll tell you, the butt stuff's extra juicy at the end. The warm up, there's a lot of oblique work in this class. And the thigh work is terrible. Um, but it's good. It's like good. <laughs> it's, it's my favorite kind of thigh work, um, at the chair, at the bar, at the chair. Um, and yeah, so we'll see how that goes, but is there anything else you guys want to do? Let me know. We will do it. Whew. Are we ready? I'm not sure I'm ready. I'm going to drink some water first. Uh, um, one thing that's been on my mind, and guys, this is uncomfortable to talk about, but I feel like it needs to be addressed. So, um, we've talked a lot at Tuck about Black Lives Matter and how, you know, we can start to change the sort of overwhelming whiteness that's in fitness, especially boutique fitness in Philadelphia and yoga as well. So, um, so yeah, we offered, um, scholarships to people of color, um, who were interested in taking our bar teacher training and guys, I'm going to get emotional if I talk about this, but the, the response we had was overwhelming. We ended up accepting 35 students on scholarship and I'm angry about it. Not that I'm angry that this problem exists and I'm angry that that there aren't more studios doing this. Like I saw a I saw a studio offering the option for clients to donate to its scholarship program for black trainees. And what the F is that? You don't need to make money like I got really offended at that. Like, why are you asking other people to subsidize you helping correct a problem? Guys, and I get money sucks. Capitalism is what it is. But that just seems gross to me, especially given there's so much, there's so many people who want to be involved and who want to teach exercise and make it more accessible for all people, you know, not just $35 a class where it's very exclusive. Um, and I feel, I, I don't know. I don't know how to articulate how I feel. It feels frustrating that, um, I don't know. It just feels frustrating. And I'm also frustrated myself that it took me this long 
to address the problem. Um, so yeah, anyway. Yeah, that's a lot for 8 a.m. on a Monday morning, but let's talk about it, right? Um, yeah, so anyway, if you guys attend other studios, I don't know, maybe offer them the suggestion that they could offer scholarships um, to people of color. And guys, again, I'm not saying that's like the right solution or the only solution, but it's a step. Um, it's a step in the right direction and it removes one barrier for people. Because the cost of training, guys, for all people, it's expensive. I mean, we do trainings and they're reasonable. Like we charge a $1.99 for our online training. And guys, it's good. Like it's fucking good. Um, we hire out of these trainings. Like we make people great teachers. So, um, you know, yoga trainings are thousands of dollars. Like how many people in today's climate can afford thousands of dollars? I can't. Um, so I don't know. I feel like it's a, it's your responsibility as a studio owner and as some of these bigger franchises who have charged $35 a class for years to thousands of people. And you know, there's private equity involved and there's shit involved. There's capitalism involved. I feel like it's, one step you could take to offer your time to train to train people to be more involved especially since everybody knows teaching exercise isn't the way to get rich um you know their instructors are typically paid as independent contractors um they don't make a lot of money and it's a hard job it's not something you can do for your life so anyway that's a lot of talk for a monday morning um, but I wanted to say it, it's been on my mind and it's been very frustrating to see that there is such demand and that people um, of all races, black people, people of color want to be teachers and, um, you know, haven't felt like they were welcome, um, that there was a place for them. I had one teacher say she always felt like she, there wasn't a place for her in fitness. Oh, I'm getting emotional. Um, so yeah, I think other studios need to do more shit to help people feel like there's a place for them as an instructor and as a client. Anyway. All right, guys, let's do this. Um, what do you need? One last time you need a chair. Um, you need a spongy ball. If you guys do not have a spongy ball, grab a paper towel. You can do, use that. You also need a loopy band. Guys, this class is juicy. We're gonna get in that butt stuff. If you don't have a loopy band, guys, just grab long johns or like an old pair of leggings and you can tie them around your thighs. Last but not least, grab weights. Let's do this shit. All right, guys. Whoo! We're gonna get in those obliques today. All right, do we have a sick beat around here somewhere? Do we have a sick beat that maybe is royalty free? I don't know. Okay guys, go ahead, bring your feet nice and wide on your mat. I want your toes turned out towards 10 and two. And guys, get wider than is comfortable. I want you wide here so that even standing, you feel your inner thighs engage. Start here rolling those shoulders up, back and down. Inhale, exhale, roll them up, back and down. Inhale, exhale, roll them up, back and down. One more roll here guys, inhale, exhale. Now keep those shoulders down your back, drop your chin to your chest, roll your head side to side. Nice and slow. Oh, guys, let all that stress go. The next 45 minutes are gonna be fun. Okay guys, drop that chin back to your chest, lift the crown of the head up. Everybody tap your belly, I want it to be strong. And get a soft bend here in your knees. So guys, when we stand up from our wide second plie, I don't want you locking those legs out. I want this soft bend, even at the top. Fight for that. Okay guys, let's start with plies. Let's send our hips down. Chest stays lifted, shoulders over hips. Imagine squeezing your heels together and stand it all the way up. One more time here, slow guys. Sink it down, you can do whatever with your hands. Imagine squeezing those feet together, lift it up. Okay guys, let's speed it up. You drop it down and you press. Remember guys, when you stand, try not to get those legs to lock. This is a good slow beat. And guys, you can always stay just a little higher here, especially if you notice that your chest starts to pitch forward. I want you guys keeping those shoulders stacked on top of your waist. The belly stays strong. Guys, your tailbone stays tight. 
heavy and grab your butt. Do you feel your butt engaged there at the bottom? Yes. Guys, we're gonna hold it down here in four. In three, we'll hold it down. Give me two. Last one. Now guys, hold this down. Find that lower edge. I don't want you to be uncomfortable yet, but you're like, oh, this isn't my favorite. <laughs> From here, guys, inhale, take that right arm up and over, and find a nice stretch through your side body. Engage through that stretch and come back to center. Right arm only, reach it up and over, inhale. Exhale, contract here. Feel your hip pull closer to your rib. Inhale, reach. Get like really in there, guys. Exhale, pull it center. Inhale, reach. Yes, guys. Exhale, pull it center. One more time. We're going to add those plies. Inhale. And exhale, guys. Now slowly straighten those legs. As you inhale, sink those hips. Reach up right arm over. As you exhale, contract and stand. Inhale, reach it. Engage here. Pull that rib down towards your hip. Feel that oblique. Inhale, reach it. Exhale. Notice, I, I don't know, I like to be tactile. I like to touch myself. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull it center. One more time, guys. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Let's take it faster. Go inhale and exhale. Go inhale. Exhale. That's it, guys. I see you. Yes. Guys, please tell me I'm not doing this by myself. Inhale, exhale. I kind of like this though. Like this is one of those things where I'm like, I like stretchy strong. Okay guys, we're gonna hold it down. In four, we're gonna hold it down. In three, we're gonna hold it down. Two, the last one here guys. Now hold it down, find that stretch. From here guys, just pull that shoulder back center. Inhale, reach it over, right arm. Guys, we're gonna add that left heel lifting. Now guys, as you go to the side, lift that left heel and lower back down. Guys, the heel's optional. You do not need to do it, but do it, because it's kind of fun. At least try it. You can always take a break, guys. Inhale and exhale. Let's go faster, inhale, exhale. Guys, when you drop that heel, try to drop it softly, like a ninja. You're not just popping that heel down, you're taking it slow with control. Guys, yes, can you sink those hips lower? We're gonna hold it over four. We're gonna hold it over three. I like this warm up. Two, last one here guys. Now hold it over here, hold it over. I want you to just find a little more stretch through that side body. Just a little reach, a little reach up over. Now guys, that left heel is lifted, you can always drop it. Now guys, I want you to pulse those hips down as you reach. It's a pulse press. Yes guys, you drop those hips just one inch. Not really one inch, it's more like one millimeter. And you reach up and over. You reach pulse. Ah! You reach pulse. You reach pulse, guys, we're gonna speed it up. Here we go. Go reach pulse, reach pulse, reach pulse. Yes guys, you go reach pulse. Can you drop those hips down a little more? I want you shaking here. Guys, you get a breather in 10. Woo, guys, my left thigh. It's like, why are you doing this to me? Give me nine, eight, go seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Guys, drop that heel, stand all the way back up. Woo, sink those hips down slow. Let's speed it up, you go drop and press. Guys, find that inner thigh connection here. When you stand, imagine squeezing those heels together. And remember, we're not locking those knees out when we stand. That gives you a breather. Take that tension to your joints. I want that tension in your muscles. Guys, we're gonna hold it down low. In four, oh, three, give me two. The last one here. Now guys, hold it down low. Chest is lifted. From here, guys, take that left arm, reach it up and over. Find that stretch here, guys. I want you to feel it. And then feel your left rib pull towards your hip as you come back center. Inhale, reach it. Exhale, Woo! Now, guys, you find whatever depth works for you. You can always be higher here, guys. You can stand up. You can take a breather when you need to. You can also stay low. 
you do you guys. Guys, we're gonna start to add those plies. Really reach, and from that stretch, engage that oblique. Pull that left rib down towards your hip. You reach it, exhale, press it. Now guys, stand up slow, bend down slow. Inhale, reach. That's it guys, pull it back, stand it up. Inhale, bend down, reach up and over. Exhale, woo! You can do this weird way with your arm, like hello. You can get your spirit fingers on. <laughs> okay guys, one more time here, slow. Inhale, and exhale guys, let's speed it up. Here we go, take an inhale. Spirit fingers, exhale. You're like, no, you can do jazz hands. Guys, I never did theater when I was a kid. So this is my chance. I get to do spirit fingers and jazz hands. Okay, guys. Guys, we're gonna hold it low in four, in three, in two. Last one here, guys, hold it low. Just exhale, pull that hip rib down towards your hip. Now, guys, as you inhale, lift that right heel up. Remember, guys, heel is optional. Exhale, drop the heel with control, full center. Inhale, exhale, woo! Inhale, lift that right heel. Exhale, engage that oblique, guys. Inhale. I like doing standing out work, guys. It's my favorite. Don't worry, we're also gonna do the other kind. Exhale, inhale, guys. We're gonna pick up the pace. Last time slow here, guys, go reach. And exhale, pull. Let's speed it up, reach, pull, reach. Guys, can you sink those hips a little lower? I know you can. I know you can. Sink those hips down. I see you, AJ. Sink them down here, guys. You have five, we're gonna hold it. Four, three, two, and one, guys. Hold that heel up. Just reach that left arm up. Find a little more stretch here. Tone that low belly, guys. You reach, you reach. Now can you pulse your hips down as you reach? It's a reach pulse. Guys, that right heel is optional. You can always drop it. But I want you to get fatigued here, guys. I want you to feel this. Reach pulse. Go reach pulse. So let's beat it up. You go reach pulse. Reach pulse. Reach pulse here, guys. We're gonna go side to side. You're almost done. Give me five, four, three, two, one, guys. Drop that right heel, come to center. Inhale, take right arm up and over, lift that left heel. Drop left heel, come center. Inhale, reach, left arm, lift right heel. Yeah, you got it. Drop it down, now we're dancing. Reach that right arm up, lift that left heel. Guys, we're gonna pick up the pace of this sick beat. You can add a little shimmy in the center. Add a little shimmy in the center. Add a little shimmy. In the center, guys, let's speed it up. You take it. Go left, right, left. Guys, you can always go slower. Woo! Guys, we're gonna hold it center. Lift both heels up. Pulse to finish. Four, three, two, one. Lift those heels up. You go down. Go drop. Guys, you can always drop those heels. You can stay with me here. You have 15 seconds. Then you're out. That's it, guys. Give me 10. Why am I counting so slow? Nine, eight. I want you shaking, guys. I'm right here with you. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Yes, guys. Do that dance. You did it. You did it. Catch yourself on the back, guys. When you're ready. Grab your weights. Getting right into it, guys. Grab a drink of water. A little drink of water. Grab your weights. Grab your cam goods. Pull up your pants. Adjust them. <laughs> guys, soften those knees. Arms are short here, so just stay with me. Hold those elbows right in front of your ribs. Soften shoulders down your back. Now, guys, from here, I want you to slowly take right arm out, push, punch it out, and send your palm down towards the floor. Now, pull it back in center. Take it left. Punch, palm rotates down. Pull it back in, take it right. Guys, you don't need to go any higher than your shoulders. And I want you, when you find that extension here, don't lock that elbow out. Pay attention to your joints here, guys. Those knees are soft. Press it right. We're gonna pick up the pace. Here we go. Take it left, right, 
left, right. Ooh, let's guys, now we're dancing. Get that rotation here, guys. Take it left, right, left, right. Yes, guys, you can have that weird head turn if you want. Left. Who says you can't dance while you do bar? I don't know. Guys, I do this in the studio with all the people around, even if I'm taking class. Who cares? No one cares. Guys, we're gonna take both arms out for three guys you can always stay here alternating but we're gonna take both arms in two last one now guys pull both elbows back in now rotate both palms down pull them back in slow exhale push them long pull them back in slow guys keep that belly strong so you don't lean back pull them back in slow push them long pull them back in slow guys we're gonna pick up the pace Okay, guys, last time slow here. Let's speed it up. Push, go pull. Take it, push, and pull. Guys, we're gonna hold it out long here. In four, in three. We're gonna hold it long in two. Last one here, guys. Now hold it long here, guys. Hold it long. Those palms face the floor. I want you to tap those canned goods together. And now release them. Feel your chest engage. Your elbows are still soft. Tap them together and then release them. Tap them together, and release them. Take it faster, go tap, release, go tap, release, go tap, release. Guys, you can march it out of your tap. Release, go tap, release. Guys, we're gonna hold that tap. Four, three, two, one. Just press here, guys, just press. Feel your chest engage here. Squeeze, squeeze, press, 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 guys. Stay with me. You have five. Stay with me, you have four. Stay with me, you have three, two, and one here, guys. Drop those weights all the way down. Flip your palms, press those weights all the way back up. Flip those weights, connect them, drop them all the way down. Flip those palms towards your screen. I'm just spitting everywhere. Flip them back, connect them, drop them down. Now, guys, reminder, you can always ditch those weights. I'm sweaty. I would be ditching right now because my shoulders and my chest are like, why are you doing this to me? But we're going to stick with it one more time here slow, guys. Flip them and press them up. Let's speed it up. Drop and flip. Take it, press and drop. Take it, flip and press. Take it, flip and drop, guys. Almost there. We're going to hold it up. We're going to hold that tray up in two and one. Now guys, pull those palms up. Pull them up. Notice how far your elbows are away from your torso. You can adjust that. You can drop those elbows in closer. We're gonna start to curl both arms in. Curl them in just to 90. And guys, really squeeze those biceps. Oh, press them back. Curl them in just to 90. Remember, you can drop. Press them back. Let's speed it up. Go curl, release, curl, release. Guys, we're gonna hold that curl. Stay with me here. I know it's unpleasant. Stay with me. Those slow then fast. Oh, so gross. But you guys are strong. You can do this. Guys, we're gonna hold it in. In four. We're gonna hold it in in three. We're gonna hold it in in two. Last one. Now, guys, hold it in. Punch those knuckles up towards the ceiling. Just punch. Just punch. Now, watch whether your shoulders are creeping up. I want those shoulders, your lower trap, pulling those shoulder blades down as you punch those knuckles up. Press, 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 press. Guys, we're gonna extend that press all the way overhead. Stay with me, four. Stay with me, three, two, and one. Now guys, press it all the way up. Woo! Try not to arch, keep that belly engaged, close down those ribs, pull it back down to 90. Press it up. Palms face the back of the room, guys. Palms face the back of the room. It's gonna feel tight. It's gonna feel tight in your shoulders. You're also tired. You're like, why are you saving this for the last? Cause that's what I do, guys. I save it for the last. Pull it down, press it up, pull it down. Feeling our last here, guys, as we pull down with control. Press it up. Guys, let's speed it up. Take it, press. Pull, take it, press. Pull, take it, press. Pull. Yes, guys, find that sick beat. We're gonna hold that press. In three, in two, 
Are your knees still soft, guys? Last one. Now hold it here. Guys, you can send those elbows a little further if you feel tight through your shoulders, but I want you to keep elbows glued towards your ears. Pull those elbows into a bend. Try not to pop that back. Keep it engaged. Press it up slow. Woo! Bend it down slow. I'm ditching my weights here. Press it up slow. No, I'm not. I'm going to do it. Bend it down slow, guys. Press it up slow. A few more slow, guys. Bend it down. Keep those elbows glued. Press it up. You're naturally going to lift. Splay those elbows, guys. Keep them pressed in. Okay, guys. Let's speed it up. Bend. Press. Bend. Press, guys. Watch your head. Yes, guys. Bend. Press. Bend. Press, guys. You have four. You have three, two, and one. Guys, hold it down here. Just squeeze your elbows. Release. Squeeze them. Release. Squeeze them. Release. Guys, you're almost done with arms. You have four, three. We're going to take out that release. Two, one. Take out that release, guys. Just go squeeze. Squeeze. Try to not let it go. You guys are almost there. You stay with me here. You have four, three. You have two. And one. Drop release. Whoo. Whoo. You guys. Are you still alive? Can you guys hit the heart? Is anyone still there? Guys, that was so hard. Are you sweating? Like, it wasn't like a dynamic action, but I'm sweating because of the uncomfortableness. Whew. Okay, guys, just swing your arm side to side. Good job. We're almost through. You guys are almost done. Okay, guys, when you're ready, inhale, bend through those knees. Reach those arms all the way up. Interlace the fingers. Don't your arms feel like they're lead? They're so heavy. Pull your chin away from your chest and really send your torso up out of your waist. Oh, and now as you exhale, tone your belly round through that upper back, tuck your chin in. Let this feel good, guys. Maybe it's way side to side, I like this way. Whew. And then when you're ready, guys, float your arms back behind you, grab opposite elbows or interlace those fingers. Pull the chest open, draw your shoulders down your back, and then lift your chin up. Ah, uh, that's the good stuff. That's the good stuff, guys. Uh, as you exhale, float those arms back forward, tone your belly round through your upper back, and as you inhale, pull that chest up. Go ahead, bend through your right elbow, stretch through your tricep on your right side. It should feel like money. Guys, I hate those tricep extensions. They're so hard with the lightest weight. It's because your palms are facing down that rotation makes it so much harder. Like I do it sometimes with my like a hammerhead curl and it doesn't feel that hard at all. Those ones do so hard. Okay guys take one more inhale reach those arms up let's feel refreshed we got this shit and exhale release. Wiggle those shoulders out grab your drink Guys, this is where you need your chair and where you need your ball. So grab your chair, grab your ball or your paper towels, whatever you got, get your drink. Guys, my watch is just drippy. Okay guys, you're gonna grab your paper towels or your spongy ball, place it down on the ground. And guys, my chair's pretty low. Ideally, you'd have a chair that was more appropriate for your height. Like, I need like more of my, like a dining chair. But whatever, we make, we make do with what we got. You can face the chair here, guys. And I want you to bring your feet to first position on that paper towel or on that ball. So your heels are up on the paper towel. The balls of your feet are on the ground. Heels are kissing. You have cheese, like a cheese wedge or a piece of pie or a pizza between your feet. You have pizza feet. Okay guys, draw your right hand to your hip or keep both hands on the bar, whatever works for you. Squeeze those heels together guys, keeping a nice long spine, sink those hips down, find your diamond plie. Nice diamond shape, knees go wide. Now squeeze those heels and press it back up real slow. Now guys, that's what takes the tension out of your knees. You can also stay a bit higher, but that action of squeezing your heels together on the way up will help you feel a lot better in this exercise. Send it down slow, unless you're a dancer and then you're like, what, this isn't, this isn't hard. I'm not a dancer, guys. Send it down slow. Even when you stand though, guys, don't block those knees out. Keep them just a little soft. It's a good reminder for me. Send them down slow. 
squeeze and lift slow. Yes, guys, now you should feel your butt engage when you squeeze those heels. You can touch it, you feel that butt. Yeah, what a strong butt you have. Send it down, squeeze and lift. Guys, we're gonna take this a little faster. Send it down and squeeze and lift. One more time here, slow. You send it down and squeeze and lift. Okay, guys, let's speed it up to singles. Here we go. Drop, lift, drop, lift. Now, guys, if this is too fast, I'm gonna add more music. You have four, guys. We're only gonna pop up halfway in three, two, last one. Now, guys, take it slow again. Drop those hips down. Now, just pop up halfway. It's still uncomfortable. Drop it down for two. Just halfway for two. Guys, be honest, what's halfway? You drop it, we're gonna speed it up. Squeeze those heels and press it. Let's speed it up to singles, take it, drop, halfway, drop, halfway. Guys, get that squeeze. Remember, let your body take over. Get your mind out of it, by mind. Your body's gonna keep doing it. You can do this, guys, you drop, lift, drop, squeeze those heels, drop, squeeze those heels. Guys, we're gonna stay with this range. Go hella slow. Stay with me, you can do it. Negative self-talk out. Last one here, now hold it low. Lift it up one inch. Lift it up two inches. Up three inches. Up four inches, you're not standing. Down one inch. Down two inches. Down three inches. Whoa. Down four inches, guys, squeeze those heels. Lift up one inch, I know it burns. Lift up two inches. Four inches, you're not standing all the way, guys. Four inches. Take it down one inch, down two inches, down three, down four, squeeze those heels, lift it up one, oh, two, you can make sounds, three, four, oh, we have weight here, guys, one inch, one inch lower, one inch lower, are your shoulders soft, guys, one inch lower, squeeze those heels, one inch, I know it's brutal, one inch, one inch, don't stand all the way, one inch, Last time here, slow guys, take it down one inch. Take it down one inch. Take it down one inch. Keep that chest lifted guys. Down one inch, squeeze those heels. We're gonna speed it up. Up one inch, up one inch, up one inch. Guys, let's speed it up, here we go. Take it down, take it down. Squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift. We're gonna hold it down, send it down. Just hold it here, guys. Squeeze those heels. Just squeeze those heels. Feel your butt. Squeeze them. Now, guys, can you pulse those hips down? As you squeeze, I know this is terrible, guys. You squeeze those heels and you pulse those hips. Drop down, squeeze. Drop down, squeeze. Drop down, squeeze. Try not to pop up. Just get a little lower here, guys. 10 seconds, you get a breather. Give me nine. I can't do this. Oh, eight, guys, you can do it. You're stronger than me. Go seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, stand all the way up. Oh, wiggle it out. Send it back down slow for two. Press it up slow for two. Guys, you're almost out. We have one more uncomfortable burn and then you're out. You're on the ground. Squeeze those heels, guys. Protect those knees. Love your body. Say yes, knees. I love you. I'm gonna squeeze my heels. I'm gonna keep you safe. Guys, you can always stay up a little higher. Squeeze and lift. Woo. Drop it down slow, squeeze and lift. Now guys, we're gonna hold it down. Don't judge me, don't hate me, hate the game. Okay guys, hold it down here. Squeeze those heels, and from here guys, you're gonna press those hips forward so that they come into a nice incline angle with your knees. And then sort of hinge your chest back. So everything is in one line. Shoulders, your tailbone is pointed towards your knees. Your belly is strong. And then slowly, send that chest forward. Level everything out, one straight line. Press those hips forward, belly tones, and lean your chest back. Guys, your quad should feel this. Your low back should not. If you feel this in your low back, guys, I want you to stay in diamond. Last time here, guys, hold it back. Squeeze those heels, your knees are still apart. Let's drop our knees towards your chair. And then press back up, don't lift that chest. You're still on that decline, press those knees towards your chair. Squeeze those heels, lift back up. Guys, you can do this. 
It shorts. Send it down slow. This is called water ski. Squeeze and lift. It's the worst. Send it down slow. Press and lift slow. Guys, everything's sliding down that hill. That mountain. Last time slow here, guys. We're going to speed it up. Send it down. Are you still squeezing those heels before you lift? Guys, let's speed it up. Drop. Lift. Drop. Lift, guys. We're holding it down. We're just going to pulse to finish here. In four. We'll hold it down. Go three. We'll hold it down. Go two. Last one here, guys. Now hold it at your edge. Squeeze those heels. Tone that belly. Just pull those heels together. Go squeeze. Squeeze. Squeeze your butt as you squeeze those heels. Whew. Now can you pulse those knees down as you squeeze? Pulse those knees towards your chair. Guys, you have 10 seconds. Then you're done with thigh work. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Soon enough. find your L stretch. That was fun. It was short and sweet. Bend those knees. You're like nothing about that felt short. Yes, it did. Bend those knees side to side. Let this feel good here, guys. Whoo. When you're ready, guys, lift your heart up. Step your right foot forward. Send your left leg back. Find a lunge. Now, guys, feel your pelvis. Start to pull closer to your ribs. Your tailbone gets heavy. And then as you inhale, press that left thigh up towards the ceiling. Squeeze that left quad so you feel that nice stretch. It feels more acute in your hip flexor. Whew. Now if you feel good, you inhale, reach that left arm up and over. Finding a side bend, it's gonna take that stretch a little deeper. Guys, I haven't worn bar socks in a while in class. And man, they feel way better. <laughs> I was slip sliding before. Okay guys, draw yourself back to center. Inhale, reach that left arm long, tone that belly. As you exhale, twist right arm back. Oh. Yes guys, maybe look back towards your right fingertips. You can also hold on here and slowly release. Guys, from here, I want you to slide that right foot back. Take a quick stretch here, leveling your hips and straightening that front leg as much as you can. You do not need to have it straight, guys. I much prefer you keep a nice long spine and you send right hip away from your right shoulder so you get that little odd T-band stretch. Now lift yourself back up, step back, find your L stretch. Whew. Inhale, step left foot forward, guys. Find that lunge on the other side. Feel your pelvis tilt, belly draws in. Press that right quad up, engage it, lengthen it, lift it. Guys, are you still alive? I feel really good. <laughs> I'm feeling real good right now, guys. Okay, send that right arm up and over. Oh, and now guys, when you're ready, draw right arm forward. Inhale, exhale, twist left arm back. Twisting back, maybe looking back towards those left fingertips. I feel really tight in my twist, guys. I need to stretch my back more. Oh, too much sitting. Draw that forward, guys. Now slide that left leg back a couple inches. Start to straighten that left thigh. You do not need to lengthen that leg all the way, guys. Pull that left hip away from your left shoulder and start to drop your hips down. You should feel a little tingly down the side of your thigh as you pull that left hip back and really lengthen the side body as you sit yourself down. Ooh, my favorite stretch. Taking your time, guys, slowly lifting that chest back up. Step your feet back together. Find that L stretch one more time. Lengthen your spine, pedal your knees out, wiggle your hips out. Okay, guys, don't hate me, hate the game. The butt stuff is juicy today. I'm going to adjust the camera. You guys need your leggings or your band. Wrap it up around your thighs. Okay, let's pull this down. Sorry if I make you seasick, but I just want you to see me a little bit better. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, now you see Carly sleeping. Okay, guys. Lay down flat on your back. Wrap that band around your thighs. Now, guys, remember the band, the leggings, the long johns are always optional. 
So ditch them if it's too much, because it might be too much. It's probably gonna be too much. <laughs> okay guys, so I want you to come to first position here. Heels together, toes apart, you have pizza feet. And then you release down onto the ground. Your knees are apart. So everybody see that? Now for the Facebook creepers, I'm gonna turn away because they're crazy. Guys, everyone close down your floating ribs. Feel those elevator doors close down. Your belly gets strong. And now guys, slowly press those hips up. Keep your knees just as they are and feel your butt get hard. Drop your hips down. You do not have to go high. I lift like one inch. You just wanna lift so you feel your butt get hard. And then drop it back down. So you don't have to like lift up and lift your chest and lift your back. The point here is just to squeeze your butt. So it's just a little lift. And guys, monitor how far away your feet are. I don't want your heels to be too close to your butt. Notice like I'm a comfortable distance away. I want your hamstrings to turn on as well when you lift. So I want to be as far away as, as it takes to get your hamstrings to turn on. Does the back of your thigh get hard? Okay guys, let's speed it up to singles. Here we go. Lift, drop, lift, lift, lift. Guys, we're gonna add on here. We're gonna add on four, three. We're gonna add on two and one. Now guys, as you lift, I want you to start to squeeze the heels and just press those knees out wide. And then drop those knees, release them, drop your hips. Press the heels, squeeze those knees out just so you feel that resistance band catch or your leggings catch. Drop it back down slow. Press it up just a couple inches, widen those knees. Drop it down, release those knees. Press it up, drop it down. Guys, let's speed it up. Take it up, drop, lift, lift. Guys, tone that belly. That helps you protect your low back. That's it, guys. Stay with me. Woo! We're gonna hold it up, guys, and squeeze those heels. In four, in three, in two, in one. Now, guys, hold it up. Just squeeze those heels together. Just squeeze and hold. Squeeze and hold. Now, guys, you feel your inner thigh and like the part of your butt that's really close to your butt crack get hard. That's where I want you feeling this. I know. I don't know how else to cue it, guys. Squeeze those heels so you feel that inner butt get hard. Squeeze those heels. Squeeze those heels, guys. You're also working in the thighs. Squeeze those heels. Take it faster. Squeeze, squeeze. Don't release it. Don't release it, guys. Just squeeze tighter. Imagine there's glue in between your heels and just pressing, 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 guys. Woo! You have four. You have three. We're gonna lift our heels. Two and one. Now, guys, press your toes down. Lift those heels up one inch. Maintain that squeeze. That glue is there. Drop them down. You're feeling this in your calves, guys, and in your hamstrings, and in your butt. Drop those heels down. Speed it up. Lift the heels, drop. Lift the heels, drop. Guys, soften those shoulders. Keep your eyes in front of you. Don't look over like I'm doing. And keep that belly toned. Is it strong? Guys, we're gonna pull those heels up in four. In three, we'll hold them up, guys. The heel lifts are optional. You can always stay with those heels down. Two. And one. Now, guys, hold those heels up. Hold them up. Drop those hips down slow. Heels stay lifted. Squeeze those heels. Press those hips up slow. Keep those heels lifted. Drop the hips down. Exhale. Push the lift. Heels do not drop here, guys. You drop it. You press the lift. You still have your pizza feet, guys. Drop it. Oh, press the lift. Now, guys, we're going to add that little outer thigh squeeze. In two, we'll layer it on. Last one. Now guys, as you press up, press those thighs out. Feel your belly engage more. And drop it down, release that press out. Press it up guys, those heels stay lifted. Yes, you're starting to shake now, drop it down. You're flowering those legs wide guys. <laughs> drop it down, press it up, flower those legs out wide. Don't you guys love butt stuff? It's my favorite exercise. Press it up, drop it down. Have you guys all taken the butt stuff class on Tuesday night? It's only 30 minutes and we just get in there. Guys, stay with me. One more time here, slow. Press those thighs out, drop it down. Let's speed it up, go press, drop. Press out, drop. You have four guys, we're holding up. Three, two, one, guys, hold it up. Squeeze those heels.
and press your hips up. You squeeze pulse, squeeze pulse. Woo! Guys, I'm shaking here. Are those heels still lifted? Press up, press wide pulse, press wide pulse, press wide pulse. Oh, guys, give me 10 seconds here. Give me nine, give me eight, seven, six, five. Squeeze those heels. Four, three, two, one, drop release. Now, guys, knock those knees together. Take your feet out wider than your hips. Your toes stay turned out. Pull those feet back in. Take those feet out wide. Yeah, it's like you're going to the gyno. Send them back in. It's like you're getting into stirrups. Go out wide. Tone your belly, guys. Don't let your back arch here. Press it back in. Send it out wide. Press it back in. Okay, guys. Now get into that wide stance. Remember, your heels are turned in closer than your toes. Okay. Don't hate me, hate the game. Now guys, imagine spreading your feet on the floor. So you automatically get really strong through your ankles and your knees start to press out. You press those hips up, tone that belly, squeeze your butt. You're gonna feel that acute isometric hold in your side seat, normal. Press it down slow. Lift it up slow. I know you're tired. Press it down slow. Lift it up slow. Press it down slow, guys. We're gonna speed it up. Lift it up. Let's speed it up. Take it, drop, and lift. You can do this weird thing with your arms. Go drop, and press. Go drop, and press, guys. This is short. It's short. I know you're already fatigued, so stay with me here. Go press, and drop. Go press, and drop here, guys. You have four. We're gonna hold it up three. We're gonna hold it up two. We're gonna hold it up, last one here. Now guys, hold it up, re-engage your tummy. Imagine spreading your feet on the floor, widen those knees. Now release it. Press it out, widen those knees. Now release it, guys, remember it's short. Press it out and release it. I know this is terrible, press it out and release it. Guys, we're gonna get rid of that release. One more time here. Now get rid of that release, just go press. Press out, press out. Now guys, can you pulse your hips up as you press that? Press out, pulse, press out, pulse. Guys, you have 20 seconds here. I know it's unpleasant, and I know I said 20. Guys, press pulse, press pulse. Guys, feel that strength in your butt. It's so strong. This is where we finish. You have 10. You have nine. Stay with me. Widen those knees. You're strong, guys. Eight, seven. Are you still squeezing that butt each time you press? Give me five. Go four, uh, three, keep widening those knees, guys, you got it, give me two. Last one, guys, drop release, get rid of that dum-dum. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh, take a nice figure four stretch. Guys, we just have like two minutes of abs left and then you're outie, like the car. Take it to the other side. Oh, maybe wiggle side to side, that feels so good, guys. Take one happy baby just for good measure. Oh. Okay guys, from here, I want you to grab your ball or your paper towel roll. I want you guys, before we start, everybody slide your hand under your low back. Slide it under. Do you guys feel that natural curve in your spine? I want you guys to remove your hand, forcefully exhale, feel your rib cage close down towards your hips, and now slide your, try to slide your hand in. It's not there, right? There's no space. Everything's strong and closed down here. Even when we lift our hips and we place our ball or our paper towel there, I want you guys to maintain this kind of engagement and not pop that back so it should stay strong just like this the whole time. Press those hips up, draw that paper towel or that ball right underneath your sacrum. So think your butt, not your low back. Find that strong engagement, the same thing we just found. Feel those tuck, closing ribs, those closing ribs, those floating ribs close down. And from here, guys, stack knees on top of hips. As you inhale, don't let that back pop. Inhale, draw that left leg out and down. Exhale, feel your left hip pull closer to your left rib. Think about that, closing that gap. Inhale, don't let that low back pop. Exhale, forceful exhale. Inhale, forceful exhale, guys. Inhale, forceful exhale, guys. You're almost done with class. Start your week off with a workout, killing it. You're just crushing things right now. 
Inhale. Exhale. Guys, we're going to pick up the pace. Inhale. Keep those knees properly stacked on your hips, guys. Don't let them come in and get cozy. Okay, guys. Let's feed it up to singles. Take it out. Exhale. Out. Exhale. Guys, we're going to take it to the right side slow. Four, three, two, one. Hold it in. Now keep that knee stacked on top of your waist. Inhale, right leg out and down. Like it's going over this big bridge. Exhale, pull it back and slow. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Guys, we're gonna add a layer. Inhale, reach. Exhale, we're gonna speed it up first. Inhale, reach. Guys, keep that left knee. Don't let it get cozy. Keep breathing here. Deep Pilates breath. Exhale. Feel that floating grip close down. Inhale. And exhale, guys. Let's speed it up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Guys, we're going to add on. In four. In three. You're almost done with class. Two. Last one here, guys. Now send both knees to stack on top of your hips. Reach those legs long. I want you guys to feel your hips pull closer to your ribs and then release. So it's like you're lifting that tailbone up off that paper towel and then releasing it. Lift it. It's like you're scooping out that low belly. Lift it. Ooh, I like that sensation. Lift it. Kind of feels like a weird cramp. Lift it. Drop it. One more time here, guys. Lift it. Drop that tailbone. Let's speed it up. Lift, lift, lift. So guys, you're lifting and holding. You're not dropping that tailbone down. You're just feeling that low belly contract. Do you guys feel that? Touch your belly. It should be like gyrating. <laughs> press, press, press. Each time you exhale, guys, it presses. Press. Feel that movement, guys. It's like a little wave. You have four. We're going to combine those two moves. Three, two, one. Bend those knees. Inhale, reach left leg. Exhale, pull belly in. Inhale, reach right leg. Exhale, pull belly in. Inhale, reach legs up. Exhale, four times here. Lift that tailbone. Four, three, two, one. Bend those knees. Inhale, reach left leg. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, reach right leg. Guys, you're almost done with class. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, reach those legs long. Exhale, lift that tailbone. Four, three, two, one. Bend those knees. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull. Inhale, right leg. Exhale, pull. Lengthen legs. Tailbone up. Four, three, two, one. Bend it down. Last time here, guys. We're going to hold those legs long. Exhale. Woo! Inhale. Exhale. Now, guys, lengthen those legs. Can you take those legs away from you one more inch? Lift that tailbone off. Release it. Lift that tailbone. Release it. Lift your tailbone, release it. Lift it, release it, guys. We're gonna hold that lift and just let our belly wave. Four, three, two, one. Hold that lift, just pulse. Press, 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 guys. Feel that belly draw down. Exhale, exhale. Lift, 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 lift. You have 10, guys. Can you send those legs away one more inch? I know it's weird, I know it's hard. It feels like a Charlie horse in your low belly. Send those legs away. One more inch here, guys. You have 10, you have nine, you have eight, then you're done. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, drop. Woo! Lift that tailbone up away from that ball. Reach those legs long, guys, you finished. Reach arms overhead. Let your belly pop, your rib cage can open. Point your toes. Oh. And now take your knees in towards your chest. Maybe just one knee. Twist both knees or one knee over to the left side. Let Carly lick your face. Guys, I like that ab work. Guys, that was my favorite class. I liked everything we did. I really like that butt stuff. Come back to center. Hug those knees in. Squeeze them in. Maybe rock a little. Maybe just your left knee stays in. Maybe both knees take that twist over to the right side. Oh, nice deep inhale. You guys did it. Exhale. When you're ready, hug those knees back to center. Roll yourself up and over. Oh, come to 
into a nice cozy seat, guys. Inhale, reach those arms up. As you exhale, take your hands behind you. Fingers point towards nine and three, pointing out. Inhale, press and lift those hips. Oh, drop it down to get to the other side. Press and lift those hips. Drop it down. We'll take one final breath here, guys. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, release. Guys, you did it. Good work. I need a minute. That was hard. As always, guys, thank you so much for joining. If you're financially able, we would so appreciate Venmo support. Um, our Venmo is at Tough Bar Yoga. If you're not able to support financially, share our stuff. You know, write us a review, do whatever. Um, we're on Google and on Facebook and Yelp and all the other things. Feel free to write us a review. Bye guys.